Thank you, Ninami-san, for that stirring address. Um, as someone was saying at an earlier session I attended, there is hope for change in Japan. There's a new generation of young leaders, and one of them, of course, is the one we're able to see tonight, uh, Ninami-san. I mean, I learned a new word uh, in Japanese, why storming, right. thanks to you. <laughs> um, I, I took very little time for questions. Let me just ask you one or two. Um, one, a lot of the changes you described sound like you lost it as practically an American company, but retaining Japanese characteristics. You know, the studies that we've had said, said similar things about employing women, uh, more uh, foreigners and all, and you're good to shareholders, you cut staff, which it's very hard to do in Japan. A lot of Japanese CEOs are thinking about it, but why were you able to do it, and how were you able to persuade the board that this is the strategy you're going to carry out? Because a lot of Japanese CEOs say, I can't take it to my board, or my board is going to oppose me. A good question. Thank you, Fred. Um, I restructured the board as well. <laughs> uh, Tell us um, how. Uh, we had uh, 21 inside board members and uh, reduced to seven. <laughs> and also seven, uh, now four are from outside. Then uh, at the time when I restructured it, outside from uh, outside three, now out of four, two are female. And uh, we've been increasing the female participation, I mean, I mean presence in the board. And we did, did want to. Uh, different perspectives from uh, diversity. And they supported me to do it at first. Nowadays, we have lots of arguments. <laughs> right, find I'm, fr I'm afraid of it. <laughs> and by the way, before I forget, there is a, we are making an interactive session. You see that board up there on Twitter. is hashtag USJCAC. So uh, we will not be offended if you're looking at your um, cell phone and tweeting away, so long as you say something nice about us. Um, also, you talked about if there's that need for uh, a young leadership. You're really hot into HR, human resources practices, and you yourself a young executive. You're concerned about the need not just for a new generation of political leaders, but business leaders. Tell us a little bit more about that. I think still uh, we have to wait, let's say, for a few years to rejuvenate the uh, leaders, I mean business leaders in the business community of Japan. Still, um, CEOs now in Japanese major companies are very old. We've got to be rejuvenated. But uh, I think uh, we have to um, uh, see more young CEOs uh, to, be, um, to be successful, to, 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 to communicate with the general public that uh, uh, CEOs, I mean, young CEOs to exist. And uh, definitely, I want to recommend that uh, we Japanese CEOs and young CEOs should communicate with the younger CEOs or CEOs in this country so that uh, we can collaborate into the uh, new era of the uh, two countries, I mean, in terms of relationships. And uh, well, definitely, I, I think um, the business in Japan has to the, uh, rejuvenate again, so that we can challenge new things. But we definitely have to get rid of the conservatism of Japan, which comes, with, comes from more or less, uh, I think, uh, um, age. Because, again, when I became CEO, I was 43 years old. There was nothing I was uh, concerned about, because I was uh, young. So if I failed the project or the company, I would uh, get maybe another job, <laughs> right? As a matter of fact, uh, my remuneration was uh, just a little bit. But uh, the thing is, how to challenge and how to go through risk uh, uh, taking, that means the younger is better, hmm. in a sense. So I think uh, Japan can be, uh, uh, can be challenging a lot of difficulties by younger generation. Yes. I'm already too old, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Your hair's still dark, looks young to me. Um, a lot of you at the U.S. Japan Council has a very uh, active uh, legislative networking program to get legislators, lawmakers, and public officials of both sides to talk to each other. Perhaps, and we also have a business networking project with Japanese Americans and Japanese executives. Perhaps maybe what you're proposing is something of getting young Japanese 
uh, uh, young American CEOs in conjunction with young up-and-coming CEO pers prospective candidates. Then. Exactly. Or, uh, it's still difficult to find uh, uh, CEOs uh, in, uh, a, I mean, in their age 50s, still, in the 60s maybe. So um, I just want to propose that uh, uh, potential leaders, business, business leaders, will have more frequent contacts with the uh, CEOs or CEOs of, uh, of uh, this country because uh, I feel more or less uh, our generation lacks the uh, uh, frequent contacts. Whereas, uh, let's say, 70s uh, people, uh, Japanese leaders in 70s, I mean 70 years old, over 70 years old, they have frequent contact with their friends in the States. So that means my, 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 I, I think that we should uh, uh, create a new um, relation between, I mean, among the young generations between two countries, definitely. And this is a great opportunity. I mean, U.S.-Japan Council uh, will be a trigger to create uh, that kind of uh, new relation in the younger generations of both of countries. Right, as the Boeing EVP said, as well as his Commerce Secretary, it's all about people in the end. Right. Um, two more quick questions. One is on uh, uh, risk takes, since we are talking about innovation here, you're talking about why storming to get your employees to create. But what are you doing to get them to come out, think out of the box, to come up with innovative solutions? Is there something in the form of compensation? Is it something employee review where you say you've got to come up with uh, performance goals? H how, do you, how do you do that in changing that mindset? Well, good question. Um, if he or she uh, failed, to, failed to the uh, project, I would not put in a penalty. And I demonstrate to everybody, rank and file, it's important to, to have CEO appraises the performance of, of the uh, new project, projects. Something new means uh, that involves a lot of risks. So in case if she, is, she, or, I mean, he or she is doing fine in terms of uh, not making a, just uh, simple mistakes, just uh, going toward the risk taking, I think I'm fine with that. So, and uh, I demonstrate a lot of cases of failures, fine. As a matter of fact, uh, I can't talk to the board members, as a matter of fact. Um, we've got lots of lots of failures. But it's important for young people, rank and file, to see I mean, a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges have a lot of failures. So I just uh, forgive, in the sense of the appraisal. That's very important to create a culture. Nobility of failure. Um, one last question. I know you're hot on the uh, subject of reform. And of course, the hot issue on the um, commerce-wise in terms of the Pacific is TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Um, you're calling for reform. Japan seems to be committed to it, but stalled. Um, lawmakers on both sides, there's election possibly coming up, and they don't want to commit to something that agriculture gets upset at, the backbone of the LDP. What are your thoughts on TPP? Kono-san, count on you. Definitely, Japan should join the TPP. Because uh, there are some reasons, but uh, one, that triggers to change Japan totally, such as uh, uh, redesign the total industries toward the value added instead of uh, you know, staying with the uh, commodities like uh, electric appliances, I mean, consumer electrics. Well, sometimes I talk to some of uh, the senior executives of Sony, why don't you throw a TV set, for example? Well, we just uh, focus on uh, value added. And uh, that story applies to the even agriculture. Um, we produce a very good quality. For example, at the time of uh, cherry uh, uh, import, American cherry, uh, now the Sato Nishiki uh, produced in Yamagata Prefecture uh, rose its sale uh, three times as much as uh, you know, before. After American cherry was imported, from Washington State. Right, that's right. Well, that's well, 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 well sold, but uh, they increased the quality. And uh, they just uh, uh, went to order the value added. So TPP should be a trigger to order the value added strategy of the corporate Japan.
Thank you, Ninoni-san. A big round of applause for Thank Takeshi Ninoni.